Sí, tomen el café, sí, tomen. We are in Washington, D.C. with actor, director, producer, and activist Diego Luna. Can you talk about the first time you became inspired to get into the arts? I know it's, it was always in your family. Yeah, I think, I think it was more, more than being inspired with arts or anything. It was just about sharing time with my father, you know, and, and I wanted to be part of his life. I wanted to be part of everything uh, he was doing. I wanted to be close to him. And he worked in theater, and uh, I started really young. When I was six years old, I started acting in theater, and it was just about uh, yeah the feeling of belonging to a place that uh, that wasn't just about you you know uh, the feeling of a family I guess. What inspires you to create? Seems like you always have something new coming out, another project. Where do you draw your inspiration from as an artist? From, from my life, you know, I, I have the amazing gift of working uh, in something that can be connected to who I am, you know. I don't have to change my cap and say, okay, now this is the work time and I'm going there and I'm going to work in something I don't care about. When you join a project, you have to know why you're doing it because it's, it's a very intense journey. It's, as a director, three years of your life. Uh, so you have to know why you're doing what you're doing, you know. You started Canana Films uh, years ago with your, with your longtime friend and co-star Gael Garcia Bernal. Can you talk about some of the projects that you guys have coming up on that front? We have a film festival and we have things going on in TV and we're working hard, you know. It's the idea of Canana, it's to become like this collective place where we're, we're joined by many others and we celebrate the point of view of the people around us. And, uh, and we feel part of a family, you know, that kind of thing where you, you can get involved as an actor, as a director, as a producer, or just witness someone doing something that matters, you know. Las líneas divisorias que quizá la, la única que no, que no vamos a acabar de entender nunca es esa línea divisoria entre quiénes son las mujeres y quiénes son los hombres. Ay, the big gap between those that have and those that don't can't get bigger and longer, you know? And I think film is a great chance. Uh, it's a tool of change, you know? Film can raise questions, can, can generate debates and, and bring reflection to an audience, you know? Yeah. Can push you to think about uh, about things that matter, you know, and I, I celebrate film when it's entertaining, it's amazing, but also when you were driving home saying, oh my God, what I just saw had a lot to do with, with, with my reality, you know, and uh, yeah, I like film when it challenges you. You can't oppress someone who's not afraid anymore. How do you feel about immigration reform and how it's going to impact our, our very immediate future? This country needs to recognize the, the Hispanic community, needs, needs to celebrate it, and, uh, and things need to change uh, urgently. Uh, and I believe change is about to happen. And I believe uh, there's a necessity for this community to rise, to raise their voices, to be recognized in this country. You know, it's, it's, it's a community that has built the country, that is feeding the country, and, uh, and I have the feeling it's time for a change, you know. And then finally, man, you're a role model. What advice do you have for that young person, that young Latino, who has this voice inside of themselves and they really want to achieve something? I mean, I think there's many things around that can stop you, but the worst enemy you could have is yourself, you know. So, so it's, it's, it's about working every day and finding out what's, what's in there, you know. Being a citizen is already a responsibility, you know. We have, we have the responsibility to kind of build and design the reality we want to live in, you know. We, we cannot blame others. <laughs> we should blame ourselves. And uh, I believe the best thing you can do is waking up every day and asking yourself, am I where I want to be? Is this the life I want to have, or can I do something to change that, you know? And, uh, yeah, uh, change is in our hands, you know? Soy Diego Luna, and you're watching Cafecito. 
there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.